Hey folks, how y'all doing? This is uh, what, May 2nd, 3rd, somewhere like that. Yeah, I'm uh, in shade there now. And we're gonna start off with doing a few seeds there. Last year I done corn in the garden and I was a bit late putting them in. And he grew about three feet and then the frost got them was a bit too late. So. I have a hurly start on now. I'm gonna put these in these pots there. Put them in there and carry them in. Put them up in the laundry room where it's nice and uh, gets a little bit of sun in the daytime and that stuff. And uh, and where you want freeze in the night, get a hurly start on them. And then we're gonna take them and put them in the garden in a couple weeks time. Probably three, four weeks time when it uh, when the weather is not so cold, don't freeze up. So I'm gonna. Get this opener up now and get them in place and I'll get back to you very shortly. As you can see I got the little cups there done so I'm gonna put a seed in each one. Uh, I think this way there. I don't know if it's either way or not. This is go two inches around there, cover it over. And hold over. Yep. So I'm gonna carry on with this. <laughs> Probably never got you in the camera there then. There you go. So I'm gonna carry on. I got 32 here now, so I'm gonna put these in. And give them a bit of water, like I said now. I'm going to uh, carry them in the house and uh, hopefully they'll uh, sprout when they get so high. Got to take them, put them in the garden, which would hopefully be three weeks' time. Depending on the weather, because the weather here in Newfoundland is wicked. The year it's colder, it's one of these very cold winters. So this says it's supposed to be a good summer. But we'll see. Hey guys, I'll give you an update on this in a few weeks. Yeah. And uh, see how we're doing. Take care and all of us. Yeah, back again there folks. You see just then now I done me uh, <clears throat> plant some corn in it. And, to, and right now I'm in uh, the process of making up a, a far starting kit for a gentleman there. You can see uh, he got, he's purchasing for his jump faller. I got a ferro rod, I got to put a handle on that one, and some char cloth, birch brine. Putting in a bit of fat wood with it and a few other things there. Yeah, down the shed there now. And uh, I was just uh, looking at a video. From the preacher, preacher's day off there, and he uh, tagged me into a video of um, of a fixed blade full tang life, three of them. Yeah, and yeah. If you don't know the preacher's day off, I'll leave his link down below, and uh, yeah, go check the guy out. Awesome fuller. Does a lot of hunting, deer hunting, and all that good stuff. Shooting a lot, and yeah, all around good guy. So. Uh, I'm gonna show you my knives there now. These are full tang knives. Uh, they don't, uh, yeah, you got the, I'll show you the first one right now. This is the first knife I made off a file. Yeah, I cleaned a moose with in there uh, last year, a year before or something. I you know a few years. And I made this leather case for him. Pretty basic there. And uh, yeah, nice heavy duty knife. I'm uh, carrying on a few trips the year now, doing a bit of bushcrafting. Mm -hmm. See so how he works out that way. And you got a nice edge there to it. And this is my second knife I made. Actually, it's me uh, Skinner. I do all my animals with that now, me uh, Cody's and. Oh, mink, muskrat, 
Potters, Fox, whatever I get. That's the one I that's the one I use. Take the pelt off. And I'm in the process of making another one. This one will be a bigger one. As you can see there. Full tang. And the wood off this one there now came from BC. Yeah, a guy sent it to me and the pins come from uh, Carolina Chris outdoors. Yeah, yeah, working great. So anyhow, there's two of them. Uh, moving on there now. Moving on there now to this one here. This one here I purchased off uh, Absorbed Self Reliance. Mike. This one I used last year. You've seen this one in other videos. Yeah, he's done a great job with this one. Holds his edge, man. Clean. I think it was three moose last year. With this one. Yeah. And still nice sharp. Now he probably needs to put it on the steel for a little bit. But yeah. Overall great knife. Loving. And I made up my own leather case for him. I say, I say you've seen that one before. Yeah. Actually, I'm making one like this now for a guy. Yeah, around this area. He wants one for uh, for his knife. So that's one similar to that. His initials be on it. Yeah. So anyhow, that's me uh, three knives there, uh, Mr. Preacher Day Off. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, hope you liked the video, and uh, don't forget I'll leave his link down below. Check the guy out, great guy. And um, now I get to tag three people. Let's try Trevor Furman. He's over in, um, I guess it's Nova Scotia there, Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. And uh, Chuck Porter from Labrador. Yeah, not a great guy. And. Uh, Let's try Grandpa's workshop. Yeah, so guys, let's see a tree full tang knives. And uh, like I said, now I'm gonna leave links to all these guys down below. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, and all that good stuff. And uh, We'll see you after the weekend. Now we're uh, I'm going out on another fishing trip tomorrow. Looks like good wind from Sunday and Monday. So could be gone for a few days on this one. So uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.